Good afternoon YouTube, it's good to have you all back. Thanks for watching again. Um, just a sort of house the thing again, just at the beginning, we'll chuck in. Please can you like, please can you subscribe? That would be wonderful. Of course, only like if you like. I guess that's a requisite to the whole liking thing, isn't it? But there we go, we're just loading up our Polynesian game now. This is the third recording session. I think um, normally a recording session spawns probably about between five and ten episodes. It all depends on how long. I can record for um, my laptop is sort of the big limiter as I'm sure regular viewers will know but it's 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 holding on quite well at the moment you can see here that we're doing all right we're not doing too badly at all we're only 50 points off the lead and points are a completely ridiculous way of, of um, looking at things uh, normally because especially as you can see I don't have any points from religion at all whereas some people have 100 points from religion but then again Cartage, you can look there, 42 points for land. How many points have I got from land? 52. Okay, land isn't as big a problem, but we're doing all right. We're doing all right. We seem to be sort of about even with everybody on tech. Uh, I don't think we're in, I don't think we're in the lead. No, we're fourth. Um, looks like Cartage uh, are running away with the tech a little bit. So we just need to keep an eye on them. Let's just take a quick look into Honolulu. You can see that we have got um, citizen management on to focus on production. At the moment, now that was because we were building the Alhambra. I think it was. Is that how you pronounce it? Alhambra. Alhambra. That sounds about right, doesn't it? Al Alhambra. Anyway, we've we've built that now, so we should probably put ourselves back onto culture focus. Um, and you can see here that we've got a lot of culture being earned from these tiles now, beginning to really start to add up nicely for us, which is great. Um, we still have a few tiles to build. There's one here and then one here that I think are still going to have moise on them. And we'll replace that farm as well. But apart from that, we're doing, we're sort of there or thereabouts, really. Um, we need to start to think about putting a third trade route of food into our city. You can see here that we've got um, 18 food coming in to the city, but we've only got 14 um left afterwards so we are losing a little bit of um a little bit of food yeah we do need to get another trade route in there unless i just switch to food focus what does that look like that doesn't knock too much off the culture to be honest no let's keep it on food focus for now we'll lose a little bit of the culture but if it helps our capital to grow to sort of about size 30 which is what we really need it to be then so be it um Okay, let's uh, let's chug on, shall we? So this worker here was um, finishing that moi that we can see down there. Um, now this moi isn't being worked by any of our cities, but it was improving these ones, which was great. Let's just see if there's anything else it needs doing. Yeah, that one needs working. Um, oh, actually, you know, this one here first. This uh, tile here is just grassland that can have a farm on it. Um, this worker is now done. Let's build a moi there. Awesome. And we'll uh, press ahead. So we were doing okay. Um, our capital is sort of keeping us in, in tech. Um, you can see we've got a university being built in Samoa as well, which is all good. Honolulu is our national college city and with a population of 20 and a university in it, we are, you know, keeping up in tech without having to focus on it too much, which is quite handy. Let's have a look and see what we're researching at the moment. So we are going towards the culture wonders at the moment. That's our biggest, um, our biggest, uh, uh, priority at the moment. So we were going for the this one here, the Globe Theatre, followed by the Ifitsi. Um Now I, I've forgotten where the Louvre comes from. Where is Bounce is the Louvre? I think the Louvre is, is a little bit later down the tech tree. Let's have a quick look. Have I missed it completely? Yeah, I have. It's in archaeology. Okay, so this is another one that we should be looking to get, the Louvre. Um, four great works of art slots. That's pretty good, to be honest. So we can go to archaeology after that. Um, I guess some of the sailing texts as well. Yeah, that's fun. Wonderful. Okay, so we will just sort of press on. Oh, we've uh, friends with Sidon now, are we? Antwerp, our allies. Antwerp are giving us a well-needed boost of um, happiness. We've got our spy in Antwerp as well. They're the only city-state that we're really focusing on. But Sidon giving us military units is normally pretty good to be honest um, a new military unit about every 20 turns just keeps us with a little bit of a standing army which is quite nice 
Um, okie dokie, so what else do I need to do here? You can see that I'm getting a lot of culture from here. Let's build a let's build an opera house quickly. Wonderful. So our cities aren't going to be quick at building anything, to be honest. They're going to be pretty slow. But the advantage is that oh, we have such a ridiculous amount of culture per turn. This is our redeeming quality. So we are racing through the social policies at the moment. And you can see here that we've already filled the aesthetics tree. So we can start to look at other trees for decent ideas of, of what we can um, do. Now, rationalism going down here to sec secularism. The two points of science from every specialist, we can obviously get those from all of our artists and great people. Slots that are working in Honolulu. Physics, well done. That's one option. We need one point in exploration, um, which lets us uh, build the Louvre. And we need one in... No, no, commerce is, is a bit irrelevant, really. Um, the other one we might be thinking about going to is to patronage. Um, City-state allies obviously just give you general abilities and improvements um, across the board really but um, we'll see how that works another farm here uh, to be honest the workers are kind of becoming a little bit obsolete now we've built everywhere that we need to on our island so I'm gonna have to start getting rid of the few but that's fine getting those moi up early was the most important thing that we could do and now that we've done that we don't really mind getting rid of these workers um, so that is fine that's absolutely fine. You can see here that we're beginning to really start to own all of the land around us now, which is quite nice. Honolulu has got a ridiculous culture output, so that's getting a tile of, of extra sea pretty much every turn at the moment. Um, let's see when the new turn starts, if we can, we can spot the territory being added. There it is, that one. Extra coast for us. We should probably think about, uh, let's see if our city, our city isn't working any of these... Um, ocean tiles which is probably for the best but we should probably think about building a lighthouse at some point um, just to make sure that these coastal tiles are actually doing something for us now one of the most important things that we're going to have to do is use archaeologists to go and explore and find all of the um, necessary uh, what do you call it um, hidden antiquity sites to get us um, great works of art these shouldn't be too much of a problem. Obviously, all of our people can move across the oceans very well. Uh, I've just seen this iron on that hill. There's also dyes on this hill over here. I'm just looking for good alternative places to build new cities. Obviously, we need to build a few new cities from time to time uh, to bring more food into our capital, to make our capital as big as possible. And I think we were we were, we were considering this elephant down here in order to, to make up for the fact that we're losing the elephant up here. Um, you can see here, the, yep, the Moy is finished now, so it's giving us five culture per turn. That's ridiculous. But we can't put a city just here, just yet, because the problem is, is that we will lose quite a lot of, um, we will lose quite a lot of, now what am I talking about? We won't lose anything. If we put a city here, then obviously we'll get social policies slightly slower, which is not a problem, but it does limit the amount of, um, Oh my god, words. What am I talking about? There's ocean. There's ocean in the way. Our cargo ships can't get there until we've got navigation. There we go. Whew. God, I spat it out in the end, didn't I? Um, this farm here. I was going to replace this farm with an extra moy. You can see there it gives four culture, which also means it gives another three to the surrounding moy as well. So it's worth having that than the extra food. Um, we need to be building another road, I think, as well between our two cities. So let's do that. Wonderful. So really, our, our, our island looks quite pretty now. We've uh, moided up to the max and it's looking fairly cool. Now, we were looking around the map to see if we could find other places to settle and this island down here, oh, no, I don't want to research agreement. This island down here doesn't seem like too bad an option, actually. You can see we've got cotton, we've got stone, um, and a lot of sort of potential moi locations. The disadvantage is it's very far away from our from our um, places as it is. So if we zoom out a bit, you can see Antwerp, where this island is. We would have to do trade routes all the way through past the Moroccan territory. Either that or all the way through past Japan and then round the other side of the Iroquois. So I 
it's it's possible, but we'd need very big, um, very big sea routes, which obviously can get attacked by barbarians around here pretty easily. So I'm it, it's a little bit far. Um, these archipelagio small islands up here are again another option. Wine up there is a good option, unless we're getting wine already. We're getting wine already, so these dyes possibly are the, are the way to go. Um, I think that would be a better option, actually. Yeah, let's um, let's think about doing that. The other place is obviously down on this frozen island down here. You can see that Dido has just put a little city down here. Um, the negative is that it's a load of snow, but the advantage is that even snow for us could actually lead to quite a favourable moy location. And moys are essentially why we're doing everything. So I'm going to get my spearmen to go and have a look. We can go have an investigate. See what we can find there. Um, this worker, I needed you to get you to build a road to there. We're getting to the sort of stage now where the computers are beginning to be able to travel anywhere they want to. Again here, these little islands up in the north, these are all sort of potential moy locations, but I'm looking for two tile islands really, and there just doesn't seem to be many of them. Um, so it could be down here that is our best option. We'll have an investigate. See what we can find, eh? Okay, so we can get a point in the exploration tree. Now, yeah, here we go. Adopt policy. So if we go in the exploration tree, this unlocks the Louvre, which we're going to need for a little bit later. But it also gives us plus one vision and plus one movement in the sea, which is very helpful. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't apply to embark units, or maybe it does, but it hasn't applied this turn. I'm not sure. We'll have a look and see if it does apply next 